Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's doing okay. I, I'm feeling about like I always do uh, after my infusion. I mean, it, it's like I said, it, after 14 surgeries and after finally getting something like this in, in Tibio, the infusions, I mean, it's basically saved my life. I mean, really. Uh, I did have a, a surgery since I started the Intivio, but it was uh, to repair a uh, hernia. And then after the hernia uh, surgery, uh, it developed a, a problem, like it developed a fistula after that. So then I had surgery on that, uh, which was awful, it turned out to be awful. Um, but you know, that was relate, related to the hernia surgery. So. If I hadn't had that, I would have probably not had any surgery, you know, at that time instead of two more. But uh, as far as, you know, ever since then, um, I think that was 21, I'm pretty sure. Uh, ever since then, I haven't had any more surgery. And uh, this stuff has just really helped me a lot. So it's well worth the. Uh, uh, side effects. Uh, I feel exhausted and achy uh, and uh, my stomach's not bothering me too much but that still could happen. Uh, last time I had a lot of problem with my stomach. It must have had been trying to correct an issue uh, somewhere. But uh, so you know uh, I, I, I'm glad to put up with any side effects. You know that's what I'm saying. And for some reason every time the night uh, after I have it, uh, my voice goes hoarse uh, real bad by the end of the night. And um, I, uh, what was it? I was having something else. Uh, hold on just a minute. And I couldn't go to sleep. And, and that's the way it always is. A uh, real a lot of hoarseness, and then I cannot sleep. It was um, not that I go to sleep real early anyway, but you know, uh, I have a certain limit that I try to go by, you know, because I do most of my, uh, I watch most of y'all's videos of the evening because um, I have too much to do during the day. I do another thing, and uh, usually after I'm done is when I go to bed or go to sleep. But last night I got done and I could not. <laughs> so I started watching uh, uh, people's videos. So if you saw a comment from me uh, real late, <laughs> like four or something like that, uh, that's why <laughs> I was still awake. Um, so anyway, uh, today is Sunday, September 17th. Currently it's 63 degrees. High today is 69. That's great. And no wonder it's probably going to rain. A chance of rain 60%. Winds at 5 mile per hour right now. Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews will be today. Uh, yesterday he didn't want me. Uh, he wanted me to rest and stuff. And, you know, my voice, like I said, was gone by then pretty much. It's still a little bit. But my, my throat was hurting and stuff. And uh, he just said, let's just wait till tomorrow. You'll probably feel a little bit better. As, as far as my voice I do and stuff, but I'm, I'm sore all over and just feel like really, really tired. Uh, so um, we're gonna have it tonight though. All right, and what's for dinner? Uh, usually we do something fairly easy uh, after Logan's show. And we, so I'm gonna put that Boston Market chicken in the oven and the, with the gravy. It's grilled chicken and it has gravy. And uh, we're, since we had potatoes, we ended up having a uh, beef stew uh, Saturday. Uh, we we forgot we got it. Well, I saw it in the fridge and remembered. Uh, so we were gonna have, I think, sandwiches. What was it? Yeah, we were gonna have chicken sandwiches, I guess, or was that the day before? What was the day before? Oh, okay, I'm getting, well, one time we had, uh, we were, when we were supposed to have the hamburgers, I remembered then that we got some, that chicken salad at Aldi, and we had, um, so we had chicken salad sandwiches, 
and the, uh, uh, I think it was pierogies or something. I think that's what we had. And then, uh, so yeah, we're going to have that. And then we had beef stew the next day in the crock pot. And then tonight will be Boston Market chicken, rice, and green beans. Because we've had potatoes in the beef stew. So try not to eat potatoes every day. We love them, though. Uh, okay. Okay, I was thinking last night, Logan and I were talking a little bit and uh, about stuff that I used to do. I've done a, a million different segments, and maybe not a million, you know, I've done a lot of different segments I've tried. I've been, uh, what was it? Uh, questions with Professor Mike, I think it was called or something like that. Uh, I can't remember if that was exactly the name. I was Professor Mike and one. I wore a, like a fedora hat or whatever you want to call them. And uh, then I was thinking, then we were talking about, uh, I did tablet time at that time. And tablet time was kind of like I do when I look at my emails uh, or something. Because I, I would have a lot of stuff, and I still do, on Messenger. A lot, a lot of stuff on it that comes to me and stuff. And uh, I would just basically show what I had on my tablet and messenger and stuff. But tablet time kind of evolved into uh, Ask My Tablet. Which, by the way, I, I, I can do one of those real soon. I, got, I added some questions. I needed five more. And uh, I, I thought up some questions for it. So I'm ready to do that any day now. Uh, next chance I get and uh, just different thing I've, I can't even remember all there's been uh, so many different things I've tried and seen if you know how the results were uh, and you know I bought books for that one at Professor Mike these little books that had all kinds of neat stuff in them history animals uh, one was like for uh, Egypt I think one book was and one book was for animals things about animals and you know so on and so forth uh, it didn't seem to catch on that good I think I did about three of them uh, but anyway we got to he we were talking I said well you remember I'm just saying if y'all have been watching me you probably remember the ones that have been with me a real long time probably remember everything I'm talking about uh, like Diane Clark or YC YC cooks and bakes and Diane Parker and uh, Kim, uh, Kim Lozardi. And, uh, there's been a lot with me. Crystal, and Crystal's Pets and Plants. It has been with me a long, long time. Uh, Carol Johnson. I, I, I could just go on and on. Uh, so if I missed your name just then, I, I don't mean to. I'm just uh, kind of rambling on. But uh, I'm just saying, I would just, uh, you know... Like if I'm watching TV, you know, we're in there watching TV, I might uh, I might look on the TV and say, you know what, this is, uh, this is what I think about this, this and that, this and that. I'm just saying, you know. So uh, I thought, and I, you know, we had a question on this a while back, so it made me think about it a little bit more. What came first, the chicken or the egg? So this is my I'm just saying. Okay, so think about it. I, I know a lot of y'all said chicken had to come first to lay the egg. A lot, a lot said the egg had to come first to make the chicken. So my take on it is the egg had to be first because there was no chicken before that to make an egg. Right? So, um... What well, you had to have, you know, they say chickens are really like dinosaurs. Their skeletal makeup and stuff is still like a dinosaur. And even like when they're embryos or whatever, I mean, uh, they look just like the dinosaur ones did. So that's the closest thing we got to a dinosaur. Really. Um, they said if you add like a longer snout, like the like a pterodactyl had and 
add something else onto a, a chicken they'd be just like just like that you know but so what i'm saying is so, so there had to be a mommy and a daddy and they had to be two different species they couldn't have been the same one or they would have made the same thing so i'm thinking maybe maybe a, like not the Tyrannosaurus Rex or anything. I mean, had to be a smaller one, you know. Um, I can't remember all the names. I, I watched all the uh, Jurassic Parks, but a raptor, maybe a raptor kind of uh, got to liking a, a pterodactyl. <laughs> and uh, maybe a small type of pterodactyl. Uh, could be other other ones, a different, like a, could be a lizard and something else or whatever, I don't know. But I'm just saying, uh, so let's say a pterodactyl and a, a raptor, you know, did the deed and then came out the egg. But only thing is, where did the feathers come from that way? So a pterodactyl didn't have feathers. Maybe it was like, uh, hmm, maybe there was like an ancient dodo bird in a, in a, raptor got together because it had to have feathers and neither one of those had feathers so that wouldn't seem possible so i think they got together then you had your first chicken but they wouldn't have laid just one egg so because you would have had to have a male chicken and a female chicken so they wouldn't just lay one egg so like you say okay if there was one egg and he just had a female, how did it make more? So they had to lay, you know, they would lay a bunch of eggs after that. And then some were males and some were females. And then they made, started making eggs that were, you know, uh, inseminated or whatever. And and uh, then chickens started popping out everywhere. What do you think? I'm just saying. So. All right, there's there's today's. I'm just saying. I, the, I'll just come up with those sporadically. Uh, like if I'm, like I said, if I if I'm hear a question or think of something or see it on the TV and I have an opinion about it, uh, I'll try to scratch it down at least a couple notes to remind me what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I try to mix things up a little bit. I've been doing the same thing for a while like today's tidbits, they can be really good. But today, all they had on it was about Hurricane Lee. Hurricane Lee is going to do this. Hurricane Lee is going to cause power outage. Hurricane Lee, about, it was about eight of them. I'm not kidding you. And uh, then the other ones were about other storms. There was no actual, I mean, I guess you could call it interesting, but there was no tidbits in my opinion that, you know, would be, uh, you know, uh, something that would be interesting, you know, besides knowing that uh, this could happen or something, you know, we try to I try to keep it upbeat and positive and all they had was stuff, you know, that's gonna happen or has happened or You know, I don't know why they had usually they have different stuff about it always seems like they have one about UFOs They didn't have that today uh, They have you know different stuff. That's just interesting but today it was just all like I said, Hurricane Lee, this and that. So let's do some, uh, so let's do a joke a day then. How about this one? Everyone has a photographic memory. Some just still keep it on film and they never develop it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I kind of have a photographic memory. Uh, I used to be able to um, I think I was a little better at it like I was when I was in school uh, I could honestly I could uh, read whatever like a test for the next day or whatever I could read it like one time I could read whatever chapters it was and then uh, I usually had my mom ask me questions and stuff and uh, that was it I mean I didn't have to take much time to study I never studied much and I got A's and B's very rarely I got anything you know like a C I very I don't know if I ever got one I might have 
Uh, usually it was A's and a few B's because uh, I, I really studied. And uh, But only problem was we moved so much. I had to go to so many different schools. I bet I went to 10 or 12 different schools growing up. I'm not kidding you. Some in the same state, and then we would move to another state, you know. Dad would, he worked for the VA, so he would move around to get promotions, go to different VA hospitals for a, a promotion and a raise. And so we were changing schools all the time. It was, it was really crazy. Okay, how about this? Visiting Grandma. Grandma, who was becoming an ever more intimidating personality as the years went on, was giving directions to her grown grandson who was coming to visit with his wife. You come to the front door of the apartment complex. I am in apartment 14T. There is a big panel at the door. With your elbow, push button 14T. I will buzz you in. Come inside. The elevator is on the right. Get in and with your elbow hit 14. When you get out, I am on the left. With your elbow, ring my doorbell. Grandma, that sounds easy, but why am I hitting all these buttons with my elbow? The grandson asked. You're coming empty-handed? <laughs> He's supposed to have his hands full of stuff for Grandma and have to use his elbow. <laughs> I did like that one. Uh, how about fact of the day? Who invented the electric chair? The electric chair was first used on August 6, 1890. It was invented and developed through the 1880s. The credit goes to Alfred P. Southwick, an inventor from Buffalo, New York area. In addition to being an inventor, he was also a dentist. Oh, man. I don't know about that. I want to go see that dentist. I think we got time for a few of the trivia questions of the day. How about... In 1819, Spain ceded which state to the United States? Texas, Virginia, Florida, Alabama. Okay, 1819, Spain. Spain. I don't, I don't know if Spain was in Mexico. I don't think all that was the Mexican army that did like the Alamo and all that stuff. Virginia. I never heard about, have y'all ever heard anything about Spain being in Virginia? I, I will say, the Alabama, I don't think, I think it's Florida. I know they were big, uh, big time in Florida, as, if I remember correctly from my school. Okay. That's it. Okay, next question, everybody. Traditional Hawaiian poke uses what type of seafood? And I have really no idea. The, the answers are shark, sea urchin, tuna, whitefish. <coughs> hmm. You've got a picture of it, and to me that looks like tuna. I'm going to say tuna. What do you think? I don't think it should be shark or sea urchin. or It could be whitefish. But I'm thinking tuna. Got it. Next question. I hope y'all are liking this. Let me know in the comments if you do. I've had quite a few say they like the trivia. What is the gestation period of a giraffe? Nine months, 15 months, five months, 20 months. Now, I heard something crazy about this. Uh, a long time ago, but it's either it'd have to be either 15 months or 20 months because I just remember saying, "Good grief! How could they have it in you know in inside of them that long?" I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say it's either 15 months or 20 months, but I'm gonna go for 20 months just because I remember saying that's crazy. 20 months. It's 15. Okay, I, I figured it was either, I, I, I probably even said when they said it was 15, I probably said that's crazy, and it is, that's, you know, a year and three months, so I barely missed that one. Okay, we got time for one more. Memphis and Nashville are in which U.S. state? Well, Kentucky, Alaska, 
Tennessee, and New York. Well, we live in Tennessee, so I should know that. So let's do that. And that's it. So everybody, that's it today for morning coffee break. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit instead of doing the same thing every day. And you know, I'll throw in the taste tests and stuff like that. I try to do like morning stuff or drinks uh, during, during the morning. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press the like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Definitely check out Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews tonight. We got some great stuff to try. Bye everybody and God bless.